more people are revealing their experiences working for Meghan Markle after she was called a dictator by a former staffer. According to a source who spoke to the Sunday Times, claimed the ex-royal, 43, yelled for 30 minutes at a florist. If you were working for her, you were often treated like a tradesman who could be treated like S, the insider claimed. They vowed never to work with her again, despite the prestige of having her as a client. As OK previously reported, insiders have come forward about their alleged experiences with the former actress who left the royal family in 2020. In one report, which cited several unnamed former staffers who previously worked for Meghan and Prince Harry, said her behavior was frightening. Everyone's terrified of Meghan, a source close to the couple alleged in an expose by The Hollywood Reporter. She belittles people, she doesn't take advice. They're both poor decision makers, they change their minds frequently. Harry is a very, very charming person, no airs at all, but he's very much an enabler. And she's just terrible, they continued. She's absolutely relentless, another insider told the outlet. She marches around like a dictator in high heels, fuming and barking orders. I've watched her reduce grown men to tears. This is hardly the first time Meghan has been accused of being rude toward her staff. In 2018, Buckingham Palace investigated the suit's alum for her treatment of two royal aides, however, her team fired back. Let's just call this what it is, a calculated smear campaign based on misleading and harmful misinformation. We are disappointed to see this defamatory portrayal of the Duchess of Sussex given credibility by a media outlet. It's no coincidence that distorted several-year-old accusations aimed at undermining the Duchess are being briefed to the British media shortly before she and the Duke are due to speak openly and honestly about their experience of recent years, a spokesperson said at the time. Recently, Harry and Meghan's chief of staff Josh Kettler stepped down, which only made things worse for the pair. According to a report, Kettler was hired on a trial basis, and the decision to leave was mutual. Though there are rumors about how Meghan and Harry have previously treated their staffers, Kettler's decision to leave was amicable. Josh Kettler is the guy who's meant to guide Prince Harry in particular through what was been described as the next phase of his life, Cameron Walker told GB News. I have contacted their team in California and here in London and have been met with silence, but reports claim that he quit. He started just a week before Harry and Meghan went to Nigeria back in May. He also accompanied Prince Harry here in London for the Invictus Games 10th anniversary service at St. Paul's Cathedral. But it's a huge distraction, Walker noted.